freedom from God. It free, means freedom from the dictates and controls of uh, organized religion. It means the freedom to do your own thing that, you know, they used to talk about in the 70s. Mm -hmm. As uh, Aleister Crowley, the British Satanist, said, uh, do as thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Let me, the, the question here is, why would America, a country supposedly steeped in Christianity, have the great goddess of the ancients worshipped in Babylon, Egypt, Greece, Rome? Why would she stand atop our U.S. Capitol building? Mm -hmm. And why would that Capitol building be built all based on Greco-Roman architectural design? These are things, you see, that most people don't think about. For example, why would the Washington Monument be, be placed, erected in Washington, D.C., which is a phallic, that's P-H-A-L-L-I-C, monument, a monument indicating the generative act of the male sex organ. That is the meaning of the obelisk. It is the, it is the phallus of Osiris, the great Egyptian sun god. And by the way, it's exactly, uh, the, uh, numerologically it is 666 because it's 555 feet tall. Mm -hmm. You, you right. multiply that times 12, or for 12 inches, it's 6,660 mm -hmm. inches tall. Yeah. Uh, in occult numerology, they never used a zero. It's discordant, so it's 666. Uh, by the way, here's an interesting fact for you. Not only uh, the, there's the, the Washington Monument, that's a 666 mm -hmm. coded uh, monument right. to Osiris, the Egyptian sun god, but a, but a certain number of feet from it, I believe it's uh, 300 feet from it, they actually, there is a place where it, it's sort of a closed off, and there's a little fenced area. Uh, and if you go there, and if you could get somebody to help you, there is a, a secret compartment to take you into the ground, and there is another obelisk buried under the ground. And, and there's a couple. In fact, most people don't know this, but there is a crypt underneath the U.S. Capitol building. A crypt. You know, crypt is where they keep dead bodies. Wow. Um, and, and, and there is a rose compass bronze plate in the very center of the crypt underneath the rotunda of the U.S. Capitol. Uh, and this is because in the ancient uh, uh, Roman civilizations, the, the uh, capital in Rome, in all of the uh, Etruscan uh, province where Rome was, yep. they built their capital. It was called the, it was the center of the city, and they would leave a, a, a bronze plate in the very center in a crypt. The capital was always of three parts, just as our capital is, uh, building is, and this this uh, compartment, you would lift up the plate, and then high priests would conduct rituals so that the spirits of the earth would come forth and bless the people. And I believe that was the reason for the rose compass bronze plate that's in the center of the crypt mm -hmm. up to the U.S. Capitol. Now, here again, if people don't believe this, go to a Google and Google up crypt. Capital rose compass and see what you can find. Mm -hmm. uh, if as you say, and it's obvious that uh, the the Greco-Roman uh, 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 the design of the nation's capital and a lot of the state capitals too, as well, uh, doesn't that fly in the face of what many people say this was originally a Christian nation? If so, it seems to me all these designs and buildings were accomplished during the the uh, the high high point of the early American Christian culture. You know, uh, in America. There, there was at the time of the founding of this country a small contingent of true Christians. And then I, and I think generally the population as a whole had sort of a flavor of Christianity. And they certainly would not have gone along with this. They were totally unawares of what their leaders were doing. But the nation was founded to be the successor to Greece and Rome and even Egypt. That's the reason for the all-seeing eye of Horus, the sun god of Osiris, right. and also, uh, uh, you, you know, the six-pointed hexagon star mm -hmm. above the eagle on the $1 bill, as, more, as, as well as the pyramid. Yeah. So all of these things, there is a reason why we have an Egyptian pyramid on our dollar bill. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you really want to know the basis of America, what our founders really believed in, and this is a terrible thing, I admit it, and by the way, not all of them 
were evil. There were there were a few, as always, the, the the minority are true believers in Jesus Christ. But let me give you an example. The Library of Congress is an incredible building. A lot of money was spent on that building on purpose. It's a gigantic, ornate building, and they built a fountain in the front of it. Now, remember, the, the Library of Congress is not the Library of Congress, actually. It's, I call it the collective wisdom of the people of America. You know, they have the original everything there. You know, all of the books and uh, yep. literary productions, uh, all those things. It's, it's really the library of the people of the United States. Yeah. Um, Tex, what about that uh, owl? Isn't there an owl on the dollar bill sitting on the sitting on a hook on the end of it? Uh, yeah, some, it's not really an apparent thing, though. It's with, you know, uh, the artist, you know, developed that sort of web system. It looked like a spider web mm -hmm. there. And it's, it's, very, it's very minute, the, mm -hmm. the owl there. Mm -hmm. uh, Larry Cat, you know, uh, excuse me, Larry Cat, are you on the line? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, All Larry, right, I'm here with you. Hey, Larry, uh, we've got, uh, uh, Tex, we've got our uh, commercial director, Larry Cat. He wanted to join the conversation tonight, so we've okay. got him on. Okay, great. And, uh, so we're Hi, talking. Larry. Yeah, glad to meet you, sir. How are you doing? Fine. All right, so we were talking about uh, the, um, uh, you said the net. Of course, there's a little owl on the dollar bill, but this owl seems to be appearing anyway. Does that owl, is that the uh, one of the marks of the Illuminati, just kind of a, to let their people know that they're really in charge? Well, I believe they have symbols like this throughout our society. That You know, they have their, you're right, they have their mark. The owl is, uh, is one of those marks, as is the all-seeing eye. And you'll see many, you know, corporate logos with those. The National Press Club, which represents all of our journalists, you know, ABC, NBC, Washington Post, their uh, logo is the owl. Mm -hmm. The owl, the, the ancient religions, the, the goddess, was claimed to be the goddess of wisdom. And the owl then was known as the wise owl. And, and you know that the members of the Order of Skull and Bones and other secret societies, they like to fancy themselves the wise men. Mm -hmm. They're so much more wise and intelligent and uh, advanced, elevated, and they're, they're like gods on earth. And, uh, you know, they, they have evolved uh, greater than the masses. We're just useless eaters. So they, they see that. Of course, the owl is a night bird. It eats flesh. Wow. And, and there's there's a lot of occult meaning uh, behind the owl uh, in, in occult mm -hmm. symbology. Yeah. Well, I guess that owl's going to just hack you to death with his, with his beak, huh? Uh, <laughs> I guess so. It, it is only a symbol. The, the, the owl that they erect at the Bohemian Grove where everybody from Henry Kissinger to David Rockefeller to, you know, uh, all of the bigwigs are there. Uh, that owl is 42 feet tall. Four plus two equals uh, six. Mm -hmm. And four times two equals eight. Eight is the number of new beginnings or the new age, new world order. Mm -hmm. If you go to Nashville, Tennessee, you'll find that they have built a, a recreation in Centennial Park, a public park there, of the Parthenon. It was the temple of the great goddess Athena in Athens uh, on the Acropolis, mm -hmm. uh, where the, the great statue, exactly 42 feet tall, mm -hmm. was placed. Now, here's an interesting thing for you. Uh, several years ago, I visited Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, I didn't realize at the time, but they had a horrible thunderstorm, and it seemed I was the only one visiting the Parthenon. I wanted to see why. I wanted to discover why they were building a Greek temple in Nashville right in the middle of the Bible Belt, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I found out, and I got a personal cure by the sculptor who had spent six years fashioning, sculpting a new goddess statue exactly 42 feet tall. The goddess Athena is now sitting inside the, the Parthenon in Nashville, Tennessee. And, and so I talked to the, uh, the sculptor, and it was a very interesting thing, and she's accompanied there by a gigantic serpent, because the serpent is also known as a wise creature yeah. in the occult world. Mm -hmm. Now, right down the street, 
อะไรอย่างเงี้ยไปหา